There's some trouble this morning for boaters in the middle of an already busy lobster mini season. Diver rescued after their boat overturned off of Fisher Island happened moments after another boat capsized near Crandon Marina. We have Trent Kelly. He's been seeing all the boaters coming and going from the marina all morning long. We're always worried about safety, especially with the divers out there. Trent, you're live from Key Biscayne, so bring us up to speed on what's happening for this mini season. Yeah, that's right, Eric and JC. You know, I must say it was pretty crowded out here at Crandon Park Marina earlier this morning as we saw boat after boat all lined up, all ready to get out on the water before sunrise. Now, though, things have started to calm down quite a bit here. Still a few boaters uh, putting their boats in right now as they get ready to head out for that lobster mini uh, season, which again kicked off right at midnight. But before we talk about that, let's uh, talk first about uh, those couple of incidents that we've already been seeing out on the water this morning. The first case involving a capsized boat that was in government cut not far from Fisher Island. Fire rescue responding after getting reports of a missing diver. That diver, though, we're told, was later found on a different boat. Crews, as you can see, now working to remove that overturned vessel from the water there. Sky 10, though, also capturing a second boat this morning that not only overturned, but also appeared to be sinking at one point. This one happening not far from where, where we are at now on Key Biscayne, again, near the Crandon Park Marina. So far, it's not clear how many people were on board that vessel or how that incident happened. But it's just another reminder, guys, that with so many people out on the water over these next few days, it's very important to stay safe and aware of your surroundings. As for lobster mini season, however, it's been a pretty successful morning for some boaters already. After leaving before sunrise, we caught several people coming back in and showing off what they caught. In case you're not familiar with it, the mini season is a two day window that opens up for recreational lobster harvesting before the much longer regular season gets underway next month. Now we did speak to a few of those returning boaters earlier, including one group who came back with quite the impressive haul. Take a listen. We got the limit, uh, 12 per person. Yeah. So you we know are what happy. You're doing. Yeah. <laughs> we know. No, we we we're we're trying in every in every spot, we're looking we're three here, four there, ten there, until in the morning uh, we, we find a, a good spot and we get the, the rest. That hunt, you know, catching it, measuring it, putting it in the bag, looking at it. If it has eggs, you know, you got to let them go too short let him go, but yes, it's, it's fun. Yeah, and what that last guy mentioned is very important. That's because there are several rules and regulations you need to follow. For starters, there's a daily limit of six lobsters per person in Monroe County and Biscayne National Park. For the rest of Florida, though, that limit is 12. The body and the head of the lobster must also be at least three inches or larger. Egg-bearing lobsters are prohibited, as that last boater just mentioned, as is night diving in Monroe County. And, of course, you must also have a permit before you plan on heading out on the water. And the reason we mention these rules, guys, is because we have seen some officers from FWC going around. Uh, they were uh, seen measuring some of the lobsters that some of these boaters were caught uh, bringing back earlier. No uh, major incidents or people getting in trouble that we've seen so far. But again, FWC, they are out, they are looking, and they are making sure that everyone is following these rules for the start of the mini uh, lobster mini season, which again is now underway all day today through midnight tomorrow. So a busy day today, another busy day expected tomorrow for anyone heading out on the water here. But again, the big thing, hope to find some lobsters, but uh, stay safe as well. We don't want to see anyone getting hurt. Absolutely. Reporting live from the Crandon Park Marina on Key Biscayne, I'm Trent Kelly. Eric JC, back to you. Yeah, Trent, you got to stay safe. You got to follow those mm -hmm. restrictions, and everybody has a good time doing what they love. And those dive Except flags the are so important. Yeah, the, he made yes. a good point. Except for the lobsters, but the dive flags. Make sure you have those on your boat before you head out. All right, thank you, Trent.